Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Or afternoon or evening, whenever you're here with us. But I've got my zebra crown on and my little friend zebra here. He's going to help me teach you some really fun stuff this week, okay? So, we are going to need, see if your adult has it, but we're going to read this story called I See Mittens. So, you have one. See, Mr. Zebra is going to help me here. You have a book that kind of looks like this. It says, I see mittens. And I'm gonna read this one to you. And I wanna show you how we do some reading. Cause I know some of you have been doing a lot of practice, okay? So first thing is you need your reading finger, okay? And we're gonna point to each word so that our brain can remember, okay? Cause some of these words we can't really sound out it won't make sense. That's why we call them sight words because you just have to know them by sight. It won't make any sense otherwise, okay? So this is I see mittens. I, ready? I see one, hmm, what color is this? Blue mitten. All right. I two pink mittens. Oops, the pages don't want to turn. I see three g green mittens. I see four purple mittens. I see five y y yellow mittens. Good reading, boys and girls. Okay, so same as last week. I really want you to practice these books, okay? So find somebody you can read them to. You can, I love those of you that sent a video to me. Those are so wonderful. But we're gonna practice getting so good at reading, okay? It'll be amazing. All right, so practice this sweet little book. And, oh, those are running away from me. I'm going to stick that in there. I want to show you the next thing I want to do. Oh, you can color yours, okay? Because look, when it says, I see one blue mitten, yours isn't blue yet. So you would need to color that, okay? So see if you can figure out all those super awesome things. And I also wanted to show you, we have our letter H paper. So when we go and do our break, when we hit our pause, you're gonna do your letter H and I want you to go do the um, the Jack Hartman video for the letter H so it really gets in your brain. So you can practice writing it, you can find the letter H and then listen, because letter H is a quiet sound. It's not very loud, okay? It says, <laughs> like if you were a dog running, you would be out of breath. So you have to listen. It's like in hat, hat, okay? Or in house, house. It's a quiet sound, okay? So you have to listen really careful. Okay, so that's your letter H paper. And the other super fun one you get to do is, let me hang this one up. Oh, I got as good as you can see. Your adult is gonna help you do this one, okay? And it's to see one of the important things that you need to be able to do when you get in kindergarten is be a really good listener and be able to follow directions. So look at this. There are one, two, three, four, five things that your adult is going to tell you to do, okay? To see if you can follow directions. So you've got to be a really good listener. So the first one says, draw a hat on the snowman. Now, should I draw a hat on the bird? No. Should I draw a hat on the bear? No. What did the direction say? Draw a hat on the snowman. Hmm. Where's the snowman? Right there. And you would draw a hat on him, okay? So listen very carefully to each of the directions and see if you can do it. Okay, 
I would love to see it if you do this, okay? So you're gonna go do, finish your mitten book and read it to somebody, do your letter H paper, and do your directions paper, and then a couple of your silly songs, and then come back. Oh, and there's even some sit-in strips your, your adult might have you do for your literacy centers, okay? And then when you come back, we'll do our math. All right, I'm so excited. Okay, oh wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna let my friend tell us, are you ready? Hit pause. Welcome back. We are so happy that you are here. Ah, we're so glad you're here. We have been reviewing your numbers. Remember last week we talked about zero, one, two, three, four. But this week, look at this. We are finally gonna talk about the number five, 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 five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, number five is so important. It is a very, very important number because look at this. You have five fingers, you have five fingers, you have five toes, and five toes, five, 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 five. Okay, so we need to be really good at the number five. Okay, so we're gonna talk about it a lot this week and next week. That's how important this number is. We're gonna spend two weeks on it, okay? So that you can do everything with the number five. It'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay? So this one, you might remember all the way back to before Christmas. It's a long time to remember back to. But you're gonna do the number five. You're gonna figure out which ones of these have five. Like this is one star. That's not five, we don't want you. But how many polka dots are on the ladybug? So this one would go on here. Okay, so you have to figure out which ones are five and glue them on, and then you can color them. And on the back, because you guys are such smarty pants, I would like to see if you could practice writing your numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, see if you can do that, just for a little bit of practice on that, all right? Because writing our numbers is something really important. And would you have your adult help you to make sure that you're writing the numbers correctly, okay? We don't wanna have goofy letter numbers. We wanna make sure we're practicing them the right way. So when you get to kindergarten, you don't have to try to fix something. You'll already say, I know how to do this. Easy peasy, okay? And the other thing is, we need to be doing some, we're gonna talk about our shapes a little bit. We're gonna review a couple of our shapes because it's been a while and I wanna make sure they're still hanging out in your brain. So there's even some shape, like for your math dinner time, your adult might have you actually practice some of those shapes and that would be great, okay? So it's okay if you already know them, but it always helps to go back through, okay? So let's practice a few and just see how many we can remember, okay? So we've got oval. Oh, this one we didn't learn, but it's an octagon. I'm gonna set it over here because we didn't learn that one yet. Okay, oh, upside down. Sphere, cylinder, cube, Cone is upside down. Circle, rectangle, square, triangle, hexagon, pyramid. They didn't learn that one either. That's silly, I had an extra one in there. I had a couple bonus ones tonight. Okay, so we'll practice some more of those. Um, each day this week, I think we're gonna kind of go over that just to make sure we're on the same page. And then the other thing I wanted to show you that your adult can get out for you during your math centers is there's some of these hot cocoa cups and see how they have a number one. Then I also have a page with some marshmallows. Okay, so you can have your adult help you cut out these little marshmallows. And then you're gonna put that many marshmallows into the cocoa, All right? So if this is a three, You'll put three marshmallows on there, okay? And this is a fun game that you could play each day. And there's even bigger numbers if you don't want to just do one through five. If you're ready for some bigger numbers, there's I think there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you can do that and see if you can put the right number of marshmallows into your cocoa. All right, see if you can be a super duper counter. All right, and then one last super fun thing is for our science for our sensory tub, we're going to be talking about things that are hot and cold. So there is a center thing that your adult can get out for you that has a hot 
um, a hot game board and a cold game board. And then there's a bunch of little pieces that you could practice sorting and seeing if you can get the right things, what's hot and what's cold. And then this paper does the same thing. You can cut out these little squares and glue them on and say, hmm, is this something that's hot or is this something that's cold? Like a snowman. Is a snowman hot or cold when you touch it? It's cold, right? So you would glue it on a cold. How about pizza? Is pizza hot or cold? It's hot, right? We put it in the oven and we cook it, so it's hot. So you can figure out those two things. You could play the game board. And then we also have like an ice cube center that you could do where you see what happens when you put hot water in ice cubes. It's gonna be so much fun, okay? But we have all week to do these things, so it's okay if your adult's not quite ready to do it today, okay? Give them a little bit of, little bit of patience, okay? Um, but go ahead. We're gonna go do, go do your math and science. And then when you come back, we'll do our art project and read our story and we'll be done for the day, okay? I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Welcome back. We are so excited that you are here. It is now time to do some art. I love doing art, okay? So have your adult help you find your mosaic snowflake. Now that is a very strange word, but all it means is when we do a mosaic, it usually means there's lots of different colors and little pieces and we put them together, okay? So see if your adult can help you find a couple different colors of blue paper, okay? If you don't, that's okay, you could use different colors. I just always think of snow and ice in kind of wintry January as blue. So I found three blue papers. And what you're gonna do is get some strips. So I cut them into little strips here because what we want is some little squares, okay? So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take my strips, I have them all together, and I'm just gonna kinda snip, see how little those are? I'm just gonna snip some little blue pieces here. All right, let me show you what that looks like. You see that? So I just have some little pieces, and then all you do is, with those little pieces, is you just glue them on all over your snowflake, just on the snowflake. Try to get it just on the snowflake and try to cover up all the white spots on your snowflake and it'll turn out so pretty. And if you want to, sometimes after it, after the glue dries, and use gooey glue, use white Elmer's glue, it'll work better. A glue stick, a lot of times they just pop off. But once you stick them all on, then you could have your adult help you. And if you cut along the lines and kind of trim off some of the paper, like sometimes when you glue it on, it'll kind of cover up a little bit of the line. So then you can kind of cut on the line and then you'll have the most beautiful mosaic snowflake and you can hang it on your wall or hang it in your window. It'd be so pretty. Okay, so that's our little art project for today. And while you're working on that, I'm gonna read you our book for the day. It's called One Snowy Day. Penguin loves the snow. One snowy day means one woolly hat, two warm mittens, three happy friends, one, two, three, four fast sleds, one, two, three, four. Five colorful buttons. One, two, three, four, five. Six tasty snowflakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven snow angels. Oh, Olivia loves making snow angels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you like making snow angels? I think it's so much fun. Eight. Frosty snowballs. Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine snowy footprints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten marshmallows and penguins have chocolate. Oh, I love 
marshmallows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. Penguin loves smelly things. Oh, me too. Isn't that sweet? I like that story. That was nice. Guess what? We are all done for the day. I hope you have a wonderful time with your schoolwork and we will see you tomorrow.